Do you need your offer done so people can easily pay you? And but how amazing would it feel if you could make that offer knowing it was legally zipped up? Well, by the end of this video, I am gonna show you exactly how to make your offer and how to make sure that it is legally zipped up with my proven step-by-step -step process for accurate and actionable Kajabi information blended together with business and legal, hit subscribe and make sure to check the bell for notifications. I've helped thousands of business owners over the past 10 years protect their profits and their sanity with my easy to remember metaphors that blend business, legal, Kajabi together so you are protecting what matters most while you're building it. All right, let's make sure you know exactly where you are. From your Kajabi dashboard, you want to click on products. Once you click on products, then you're going to click on offers. When you open up the offer tab, now you're either going to edit an existing offer or you're gonna make a new offer. We are gonna make a new offer and really all you have to have for an offer is a price and purchase terms. That is all that you need. Everything else is unique to the solution that you are selling. So first, let's name your offer. So I'm just gonna write in here, testing new offer. And for right now, I'm gonna remove the product. If you remove a product, that is what we call a ghost offer. And so you can use an off offer whether you have a product or whether you don't have a product and you need a price. So we're going to click save because I want to show you make where to put the price, which is on the inside of the offer. So here we are going to click on edit the price. And this is where you can choose what you would like free offer. Nobody pays for it. A one-time payment. Here's a $20 bill, multiple payments. Here's two $10 bills, recurring subscription, $20 every month. You may choose one of those. And once you have it, we're going to do a one-time payment for this $20. Just like that, choose your currency. And as you are putting this together, like I said, all we need is price and purchase terms. Those are the two non-negotiables that you must have. Everything else, if you want to steal my personal offer checkout checklist, you can do so in the comments below this video. You're more than welcome to steal it and take it with you. Now, for the purchase terms, we need to go into edit checkout. When you are editing the checkout page, now we are going to put in the purchase terms. Think of purchase terms like a really strong zipper that keeps everything zipped up nice and tight so nothing is left exposed to the elements. Now, where you're gonna place this is underneath the service agreement. So you're gonna click on service agreement, then you want to click, this is my preferred way, custom agreement text. What you do is I will show you, you're gonna prepare the purchase terms separately and we're gonna just include a nice, pretty hyperlink so that this box doesn't get crazy, crazy long. So it can be something as simple as typing in, when you purchase, you agree to these purchase terms. And then you take this, you click the insert a link button and you link to your URL. Here is an example of how I have done it on Bizzlebox. Now, if you need help with your purchase terms, Bizzlebox is the solution that I have, which is business plus legal done through the lens of Kajabi site owners. You'll see on my offer checkout page, right here is the service agreement box. I have read and agreed to the terms and conditions of this page as follows. And then right here, it says, when you purchase Bizzlebox, these are the purchase terms. If you click on that, a new window will open. I link to Google Drive, it is view only. This allows me to keep all of my purchase terms in one spot. And 
when you make updates, you don't have to worry about forgetting to go back and put in the correct link. You're updating from this page. So here are the purchase terms for my offer checkout page and where they are placed is right here. This is the URL to the location of your purchase terms. Once you've included that, you click OK and you click Save. In those purchase terms, you are going to lay out who is buying the product from a legal standpoint. You're also going to include payment, refund, where they can sue you if they decide to sue you. So leave me a comment and let me know the store who has your favorite refund policy. All right, we're ready for number three, which is adding in your product. Now, if you're offering a service or there isn't a product, this is you're going to entirely skip this step. But we want to go back to the offer. So we're going to click on testing new offer. You would click on the name of your offer. That is going to get us back to the screen where we can add the product. Now, adding product is so easy. So if you are smart and you are pre-selling a product, then you can sell the offer. When the product is ready, you come in here and just click add product. Choose the product that you want to add to the offer. If you've pre-sold, this box is going to come up because there may be people that already have the offer or if you've created the offer and you are editing it. So let's say we did pre-sell. All we have to do is check that box. Kajabi will give us a nice warning and we say, yes, please add the product to this offer. Now, second bonus legal tip is please make sure that your purchase terms include context and paragraphs that determine how your intellectual property is used. So let me show you what that might look like in purchase terms. This again is the Bizzlebox membership contract. So whether you are selling an online course, a group coaching program, a membership, whatever the case may be, what you want is to have paragraphs that say who gets this intellectual property, how can they use it, when can they use it, and you can see right here in the no transfer of intellectual property that I am saying how you can use this content. It has been widely said that intellectual property is the oil of our lifetime, and that is so incredibly true. Now, it's the internet. Can we stop people from stealing our stuff? No, we can't. People can hack into the CIA and MI6. They can hack into our stuff. We can't stop it. But what we can do is be proactive and give ourselves a solid foundation to operate our business from. This is what I mean when I'm saying let's legally zip this stuff up because yes, there are times that you can enforce your rights, your legal rights against people that have purchased your program. But if you don't have this document, you can't enforce anything. All right, number four, we wanna add in communication. When people buy your offer, you're going to want to communicate with them. So what you wanna do, and this is bonus legal tip number three, you wanna make sure that you're including your privacy terms, which is what covers you when you are communicating with people. You have to display those, it's legally required, and basically it's just telling people what info you collect, what you're doing with it, who has access for it. Years 
two years ago. It was called, it had to be GDPR compliant, which is General Data Protection Regulation. I'm sure a term very familiar to many of you, but now it is definitely being expanded to many other countries outside of the UK and the EU. So it's easy to just think of it in terms of data protection. That's what triggers privacy policies. So what you wanna do is make sure that on your offer, you are going to click Edit Checkout again. When you click Edit Checkout, you're going to see that you can click to footer navigation. So over here in the menu bars, we are gonna choose footer navigation. When we do this, we are going to select from your drop down menu your footer menu bar. Now, you'll see that I have a footer that is the standard default, and I have a footer that is offer checkout. If you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know why I offer two different ones, um, and you are welcome to unlock my free resource library, which is in the links below this video. So I'm gonna choose the footer for the offer checkout, and I also wanna show you what this looks like on an actual offer. So we're gonna go back over here to my own Bizzlebox offer, and you'll see, here it is, just a basic offer down here at the bottom, it again has the Bizzlebox purchase terms. Those are exactly the same as exact what I showed you at the beginning of this video. And here you'll see it says legal. So I have a single legal page that acts as a hub for directing traffic. So this way, I don't have to remember, did I update it? Is it on there? Is it off of there? Having this central hub is so time-saving and also, again, helping us stay legally zipped up because we only have to remember to keep track of one page. So here you'll see it says privacy policy. It also has terms. Those are not purchase terms. Those are website terms, slightly different. Also has disclaimers and my cookie policy. So anyone can click and read it. The legal standard is that a reasonable person would be able to find this and get to the information that they need. It's not required that they click on them. So by having your footer that displays your privacy policy, because again, they are giving you their information, you have to legally tell them where their um, information is going to be held, what information is being collected, who has access to it. It's quite detailed and as we want it to be. We want our data protected. So once that um, you have that done, now we are going to go back to the offer on our offer and you can determine the best strategy system for sending your communications, you can handle that by using the automations down here at the bottom. So we won't go into detail on this video, but I have other videos that cover adding automations to offers. So here, when offer is purchased, then we can either subscribe them to an email sequence or you could send a single email. Again, pros and cons to both of those, but that is where you would add in your communication, making sure that you have the proper privacy policy in place that meets the GDPR standards that are more and more frequently being referred to as data protection privacy policies. All right, and the final step is you want to roll out the red carpet for your brand new buyer or your loyal super fan that has just made a purchase from you. And the best way that I know to do this is to use a standalone page as your red carpet thank you page. You take care of this, again, from our same offer dashboard. And now we're going to look at the area that's under after purchase. Underneath, we're gonna to click to send the member to a thank you page. What we wanna do is choose landing page. A standalone page is a landing page in this context. 
when we choose landing page, you want to choose the thank you page that you have made that rolls out the red carpet for your buyer. All you're doing is confirming their purchase was successful, leave no doubt of that in their mind, and let them know what the next step is. So depending on the offer, depending on the audience, that is what will determine your content. I'm gonna give you an example of the thank you page that I use after people unlock the free resource library, and that is right here. So this is a standalone page. It confirms, yes, you have access to the resource library. It gives them a little video if they are new to Kajabi and don't know how to use that. And it just lets them know what do they need to do. So that is rolling out the red carpet for your thank you page. All right, now you know how to make your offer and make sure that it is legally zipped up. But if you want to make sure you don't miss a step, then make sure you steal my own personal checklist, which you can unlink in the description below. Up next is a video just for you blending business, legal, and Kajabi to help you keep protecting what matters most as you are building your business, creating time and financial freedom for you and your family, both today and for many, many years to come.